Okay, I wasn't going to do this originally, but uh, I think I'm going to try to go for that auction house mount just because it's so sweet. It all started when I went to go buy a glyph of stars on the auction house and there weren't any. So I went and leveled up my inscription and I got me glyph of stars and I put a bunch on the auction house for like a thousand per. They sold almost immediately. And I kept doing that for a little while because they were really easy to make. And I thought, you know, I like Glyph of Stars and so do, was, so do other people. And it's in high demand. May as well just, you know, give it to them. I mean, I know it's the beta realm. Making gold doesn't matter here. But at this point, I just want some footage of me on that brontosaurus auction house mount because I don't think there's any way I'm ever going to get it on a live server. Um, as a general trend, when I tend to get gold, I spend it almost immediately on WoW tokens so that I can buy game time or realm transfers or other games or whatever I happen to be interested in buying at the time. And it's not really... I don't think it's really viable for me to save up 5 million gold on a live server, but on a beta server, it doesn't matter as much because the auction, the economy here is insane. People are charging ludicrous amounts. Someone put up a stack of Zandalar crafting mats for gold cap, and I'm pretty sure it's sold. You know, there's quite a few people with the mount already. And it's just a good, uh, really ludicrous economy to get the mount on, if you know what I mean. So I've just been kind of pumping out glyphs left and right. I'll probably break a million tomorrow morning because I've got, I think, 170 glyphs on the auction house at this point. And I'm just going to keep making more. Because look at my experience bar. I'm level halfway through level 115 and I've done almost nothing but gather herbs and level inscription. Because, unlike a lot of people, I really don't want to ruin the expansion for myself. I have I did the introductionary stuff, the scenario, Lord around, blah 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 blah. And then I got to Zandalar and just started leveling up Inscription. Because, like I said, the niche needed to be filled. And I was ready to do that because I didn't necessarily care. And I noticed Vanilla Herbs, Peace Bloom... Starlight Roses from Legion. Everything was giving the same amount of experience as like six mobs in the Zandalar zone. So I said, screw it. I'm just going to get to max by professions and then I'll go and test the raid content. And then when the expansion drops, I'll pretty much still have a fresh and shiny new experience while still having got to experience a lot of things on the beta before other people. I'll still keep the quests for myself later. I'll save those. Y'all probably don't want spoilers anyways. But yeah, that Brontosaurus gold mount is 5 million gold and I really want it. And I can get it, I believe. But the, the hard part <laughs> is probably going to be the first million and I'm already most of the way there. Oh, something strange. Um, the auction house mount is the only vendor in the game that I've been able to find that sells the materials you need for the Zandalari inscription. I'm sure that'll change once it goes live. But in the meantime, the distilled water and acacia powder, or whatever it is, the only way to get those is the mount, and so that'd be nice too. About halfway through leveling up. I'm at 63 out of 50 for Zandalari inscription. I'd like to get it max. And... I'm not sure yet how to get the dolphin glyph, but by God, I will get it because I long to be a dolphin in my aquatic form. That sounds amazing. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and wish me luck on getting that brontosaurus. I want it so bad.